I have to make that offset smaller and smaller and smaller, and I have to bring this point and migrate that point more and more and more and more and more this way. And this line gets closer and closer and closer and closer and closer to becoming the tangent line. To becoming the tangent line. So what do I need to do with this thing? I need to take the limit. I need to take the limit as delta t approaches 0. That's what I need to find. Well, that's a limit problem. Well, let's do it. OK, so now I'm going to clear out this board here. I'm going to take this exact thing, by the way, and put it over there. OK, so there it is. And now we're going to actually figure out what that limit is. Remember what p is. p is given to us to be just this. So let's plug all that in and see what we get. OK, now this is really the moment of truth, folks, because there's no more stalling. This is the answer. This is the answer. So let me recap what we want to do here. We want to find the limit as delta t approaches 0 of what? Well, of p evaluated at the square root of 6 over 2 plus delta t, complicated looking thing, minus 20 divided by delta t. That's what's written there. I'm just copying down what's written over there. Now remember where that came from. It just came from this. It's just the change in distance divided by the change in time. But now I'm letting that change in time approach 0. That's all I'm doing here. Now this thing, of course, is the complicated looking thing. That is the really complicated looking thing. What do I need to do? Well, I want to untangle that. Well, now I just got to remember how we talked about looking at functions. Here's the p function. I just have to plug that in. Wherever I see a t, I plug that in. And in fact, if you go back and review those discussions we had about functions, you'll remember I told you that the most important example to look at for functions is when I have something plus something. If you look back, I had you know, f of a plus b. And I told you that was the most important example. And that's why, because we need it for this problem. See, I knew how, this, I knew how to do it even back then. Ha! OK, so let's try it. This equals the limit. Now, this is going to get a little long in terms of writing. So don't, don't fret here. And now what do I do with this, with this quantity? I plug in for t that value. And so what I see is 40 over 3 times, and instead of t squared, I'm going to plug in that. So it's going to be the square root of 6 all over 2 plus delta t and I've got to square all that. That right there, if you look at it, is exactly this. Wherever I saw the t, I plugged in this whole thing. Now I've got to write everything else. Minus 20. And I have to divide that by delta t. And now we've got to find this limit. OK, I admit the delta t might be scaring you. You said, gee, I only talked about limits that, uh, that had just x's in it. It's OK. It's a variable. Remember, we had the, the cereal thing here, and we had chickens. We had all sorts of things here. Not to worry. It's just a placeholder. First of all, the first thing I try to remember how I do this thing is I just let delta t equal 0 and see what we get. Well, what happens when we let delta t be 0? I see the square root of 6 over 2 plus 0 squared. So if you square this, the radical lifts, and I'm left with just 6 over 4. 6 over 4, and I want you to visualize this in your mind's eye here. 40 over 3, and I want you to see a 6 over 4 here. That 4 and that 40, there's a cancellation. I'm left with a 10 on the top. I have a 6 over 3, which is a 2. So 2 times 10 is 20. This is 20 minus 20. That's 0. And on the bottom, I have 0. 0 over 0, what do I have? I have an indeterminate form. I have an indeterminate form. It needs more work. Now you can see the, the importance of studying these indeterminate forms. This is an example of one. What's the more work here? Well, uh, the only thing that's sort of complicated is this whole parentheses thing here. So let me actually just foil all that out, and let's see what we get. Now this is going to get really long here, but watch what happens when I actually just foil all that out. So this equals the limit as delta t approaches 0. And now I've got that 40 over 3. And I'm going to multiply that. And now I'm going to multiply this by itself. So now remember how that works, by the way. We talked about this. You just don't square that and add it to that squared. You've got an inside term, an outside term. In fact, let me just show that to you on a little piece of 
a little piece of paper here that I have just for this purpose. I had this here just for this purpose. I said, you know something? I'm afraid I'm going to have to do a little foiling. I want to do it right over here for you. So watch this right here. This is the square root of 6 divided by 2 plus delta t. And I have to multiply it by itself. So I want to work this out for you right now so you can see this. So it's this times this. Well, that's going to be 6 divided by 4. And then the inside term gives me a delta t times the square root of 6 over 2. And the outside term gives me the same thing. So I have plus 2 times the square root of 6 over 2 delta t. Because I've got one of them here and one of them there. And then this times this, that's just delta t squared. Notice these 2's cancel. And this 6 cancels with the 4 a little bit. So I'm left with 3 over 2 plus the square root of 6 delta t plus delta t squared. So in fact, if you foil that out, you actually get this thing. So I'm going to write that in right in place of there. In case you think I'm kidding, I'm just going to push that right up there. I'm going to write all this in here. 3 over 2 plus the square root of 6 times delta t plus delta t squared. All that stuff was just that. Then I've got to subtract off this 20. Look how long this is going to get. This is really long, potentially the longest math thing you've ever seen. Look how long that is. OK, what do you do now? Well, this looks so long and so complicated. It looks sort of scary. Let's now distribute that 40, take that 40, and distribute it all the way through. It's got to hit all these people. It's got to hit that term. It's got to hit that term. It's got to hit that term. Let's see what happens when it does. 